obviously I just got back from the grocery store. It's currently 10 o'clock, uh, which means I'm really ahead of the game today, which is really, really nice. I'm gonna go and soak my vegetables, and then I'm gonna go do a shakeout run, because today we have a really hard workout. So exciting. We have a tempo run today. I'm not sure how far I'm going yet, but I think my coach just sent out an email with the distances, so. Pray for me. go home and really fuel up for this workout okay so now that I'm back from my run and looking gross um, I've made some lunch so I've got a panini here with turkey and cheese hummus and spinach some chicken pesto pasta which you can watch my last video for instructions on how to make and the last of my superhero muffins, which is really sad. These are from the Run Fast, Eat Slow cookbook. Um, so I might just have to make some more today. And then I've got a noon dissolving in here because I definitely need to be hydrating. Hey guys, it's like a lot. It's a lot later. Um, I just did some school stuff and hung out and warmed up my calves with this little heating pad here. So I've been getting cramps in my shins. Yeah, so in that time I got ready for practice. So now I'm gonna leave for said practice. Um, but I thought I'd give you guys a little uh, what's in my practice bag and a little fit check, cause who wouldn't want that? So in my bag, we're gonna have my flats because I have a tempo today, a workout, if you will. So those are going in there. I have some running mittens, but these also turn into running gloves. So pretty high tech, pretty fancy. I have this little gaiter that I'm gonna use as a headband because it's cold. I have this extra jacket just in case like I want a thinner layer because I'm not sure how I'm gonna feel after I warm up. I've so got that. Obviously an extra pair of socks just in case I step in like a puddle or something. Knock on wood. I don't wanna manifest that, that would be really bad. I'm also going to bring my little Ray-Ban sunglasses today and try and like film the warm-up and stuff on these, so that'll be fun. My water bottle that I haven't filled up yet, so let's actually do that right now. The other day I dropped my gloves in the sink before we left on our run and it was so miserable. I was like, dude, it's like below zero right now and my hands are going to freeze. Okay, now for the fit check. Alright, so I have this really light windbreaker nike trail layer that i got in scotland um this will definitely come off it might honestly not even make it on the warm-up but i'm just wearing it in case because it looks a little bit a little bit like the w word is going on um i have this really light new balance sweatshirt that i thrifted slay um i have an adidas like light long sleeve layer i have some sweatpants on um, and these are Lululemon. I don't usually double up sweatpants and leggings, but today I did because I was really cold on the shakeout and I just really don't want to be cold to start this tempo because it's going to be miserable enough as it is. So, you know, then I've got some Lululemon socks on. These are like ankle socks so that my ankles don't get cold. And my Koros. This is the second day I'm using it, so I'm really excited to actually use it in a workout. So. And of course my Hoka. I got a pair of the Adidas Adi Stars and I was really trying to wear them and make them work. Uh, but I, that's around when I was getting those like shin cramps that I was just talking about. So I'm taking a break from the Adi Stars and we're gonna see if it was either the Spikes or the Adi Stars. Cause I also started wearing new Spikes and that very easily could have been the problem as well. I have a race next Friday in Boulder, 
So I'm gonna wear my spikes again then and we'll see if maybe that's the issue is just like breaking them in. Also look at how amazing of a job I did braiding my hair. Um, on this side I had like pieces falling out and like one of the strands was way shorter than the others because I have layers. So my girlies with layers will understand the struggle, but I had to like cut my braids off super short, which makes them look a little silly, but we're here to run. We're not here to look good. We're here to, you know, Hey guys, welcome to practice. Today we are doing a workout, tempo workout. Oh wow. Anywhere from 10, 7k to 10k. How far are you going? 7k baby. Do something cool. <laughs> Stay right there. The right move. Oh god. <laughs> we started. What do you have to say to the vlog? Oh, Rain Man! Yeah. <laughs> That's so funny. What? We're doing a tempo! <laughs> With the wheel that takes us far away from home, time to ponder in the fields around me. Well, there's nothing but the breeze in the great unknown. Leave your worries and your suitcase. All you do. on that bench. Thanks. You know what I just thought about? The what? fact that I'm gonna be at like 13 miles today. That's why we don't shake out, Emma. <laughs> <laughs> it's not beneficial. At this point. <laughs> it's probably not. Oh, it's so cold. Look at my hands. They look like a corpse. Tie my shoes like as fast as I can. <laughs> my hands are freezing, so it's not working. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna take my pants off. Shit. The fact I'm that gonna... I just put like the thinnest shirt over my other shirt just to try to see. <laughs> oh no. I feel like I'm on a survival show. What is too cold? <laughs> <laughs> Like, the running is fine. The yeah. right now is not The fine. now. The here and now. The here and now is not okay. Oh my god. I'm putting my shoes on. I can only so fast my hands are so... Say goodbye to the glasses. Say bye to the glasses. Adios, glasses. <laughs> you can see this. Woo, we did it. Tell the glasses how your tempo went. Well, the time was good. <laughs> Maddie, it was good. I feel like I'm dying. <laughs> the thing is, like, I feel like, okay, for, like, we just did so good, and all things really considered, good. that was, like, comfortable. You know what I mean? You know, it honestly, I think the only thing that like, actually bothered me was just the air. Yeah. The like, I was breathing, and the whole time I could feel my lungs. It really makes me wonder, like, what the conversion for this would be. Because okay, this I is, know. like, you know, almost a 10K. I know. But I was like, we just ran a 9K in, 30, like, it was, like, 36 36? minutes. And let's say... Like, At threshold what you, pace. What do you think the conversion would be? So let's... We convert it out to a 10K, then give it the outs to conversion. That probably just brings it back, you know what I mean? Yeah, like, exactly to what it was. Yeah. And that's not us, like, maxing out. Yet. No. Because you just start. Yeah, All right, go. ladies, let's go. I'm cold. Somebody can't get it. Oh my god, girl. Thicky wrist. It's because I have like <laughs> jackets on. <laughs> you gonna be able to get them off? Dude, how did it go? 11k tempo. That was really fun. <laughs> Good. Oh my god. Oh, so bad! <laughs> Molly, give us your best train impression. <laughs> hey, this is tricking me out.
Welcome back to the block and the Trevor's kitchen. kitchen. The freaking kitchen. The freaking kitchen, bro. Done with the tempo. Longest tempo in like a year. Trevor went skiing. Skiing conditions are perfect. It's a great day. Yes. We're making a HelloFresh. It's um, Tex Mex turkey balls. Fun fact about Trevor. He doesn't like washing things down the sink. What? When there's things in the sink, like in the drain, he doesn't he doesn't like washing out the sink. Or just oh, like in the oh, sink in general. Oh, Battle scars. Mm. Looks like brains. Wait. Give us nothing. Give us absolutely nothing. Happy Kwanzaa. Mmm, Trevor's hangry.